I want to build me some potato boxes and I think I know how I'm going to do it. Just bought me about eight pallets. I have my stack of pallets so the first thing I want to do is take them all apart and get to the wood slats and side rails. Tools needed, circular saw, hammer, pry bar, and sawzall with a carbide tip blade because those nails in there must be made out of kryptonite or something. What I need to do is cut all the nails with the sawzall. Next thing I need to do is go charge the battery because it's almost dead. Turn around and do the same thing to the back side. At this point, the side rails just come out. Lovely. Pull on it a couple of times, smack it with a hammer, and a nail comes out. down and a whole bunch to go. Next I have to, I want to knock all these nail heads into a, a bucket here and I'll pick up all the spare nails and uh, all the metal goes to a metal recycling bin. Next I'm just going to rip these so I end up with some 2x2 uh, two two corner posts. Uh, I just need to cut a point into them, pound in the ground. I'm going to cut them to 28 inches. And that's how tall the boxes are going to be. 22 inches tall and I want 6 inches to be able to pound into the ground. Okay, four of those and we've got our corner posts. Okay, we have enough lumber to build our first box. So we'll clean up our, our mess and go in the garage and start putting a box together. So before we clean up everything, I'm gonna take all these little pieces of scrap. And they all had the nails in them that I cut off. So I'm just gonna take a chisel, split them up the middle like that and the nails pretty much pop right out then we're going to throw them in the nail bucket and then the uh, little pieces of wood go over here into a separate bucket and they'll eventually be uh, chipped up with the branches and and uh, leaves and stuff from the rest of the property and we'll be using it for mulch and the flower beds now get out the handy dandy magnet, floor magnet, and pick up all these nails. And then what I'm going to do, sweep up the sawdust, take it down to the tumbler recycler, and put it in there. Sawdust makes for excellent compost. So I just put it in the tumbler, along with the other compostable material, a little bit of water, 
be nice. Sunny day. We'll give it a give it a whirl. There we go. Okay, next I'll start laying out the boards. I like to leave about a quarter inch gap on each side. So in case the boards all aren't exactly the same length, I've got some wiggle room. And then I'm just gonna start laying them from top to bottom. I just got the bottom one here set up as a spacer for the sides. Now, next I'm gonna set the one side up against the wall or something to hold it upright. And I'm just gonna put one screw in the middle. Now I just turn it around do the same thing with the other side and I'll have a nice space I can finish putting all the boards on and uh, we'll have us a potato bin or a potato growing bin. Okay at this point it's just a matter of putting everything together all four sides and then uh, we'll be ready to take it down to the garden box done that's what it's gonna look like before I go down and put it in the garden it's ready to go down there and we'll make up some uh, soil and plant our potatoes okay this is what the the start of the box is going to look like. Gardener Ann is planting some russet potatoes. So this is the easy part. So how far apart are you going to put them in? I'm putting them about uh, a good foot apart. Okay, so there'll be what, four of them in there? Yeah. And you're planting the whole potato, right? I am planting the whole potato. And they have, what, a couple of eyes? I have several eyes that are all growing on each potato. There we go. All right, and that's what sprouts up. And then as we'll cover them with, what, about six inches of soil? Three to five is what the what it's telling me. So. All right, and we'll rob it from the other part of the garden until to get these going. We got some weather coming in this week, so let's get these in the ground. And then uh, as the potatoes grow, we'll add the wood back to them and fill them with uh, soil. And then uh, we'll have about two feet worth of potatoes to dig at the end of the, the end of the, the growing season.